All right, coach. So let's imagine you've designed a training session. You've got a group of athletes that are going to perform this session. One thing that we tried to make central throughout the platform is just this idea of connection and camaraderie through competition. And this will only apply if you're actually training a group of athletes using a team's calendar. But if I'm inside of a training session, what I'll notice is I can set up any block or any section within the training session as a leaderboard. You'll notice a little trophy icon and a drop down menu. And so by selecting that drop down menu, in this case, we're going to do three sets of back squat at 531. And I actually want to select weight as our leaderboard. I'll simply select that. That means that your athletes will have an additional input Well, they'll be able to record their leaderboard result. And then you're gonna to wanna to give them some instructions. So maybe it's record your heaviest set as today's leaderboard. So just an awesome way to rank your athletes based on their actual objective performance to keep things fun and interesting and maybe just to break up some of the monotony. But you'll notice this for any type of movement that you've created and also if you've created this circuit so this example, we're doing a training session or a, a Metcon or benchmark called Fran. And rather than doing it for completion, if I select this drop down and I select something like time, we're then gonna turn that into a leaderboard. So we're tracking that, we're measuring our results against our teammates or anybody else that's performed this section. So you can have as many leaderboards as you want. Best practice is to have one, but you can turn anything from a standalone exercise, a circuit into a leaderboard to create some competition and to keep things fun and interesting, keep your athletes engaged. So I hope that helps coach. If you have any questions at all about best practices on keeping athletes engaged, best practices on creating leaderboards or anything else, let our team know. Email us anytime at support at trainheroic.com. Thanks coach.